Okay, welcome to the second part of wake up reprocessing. Uh, we were applying remove with values filter in this case and we had to remove humidity with value high. So what we did was um, uh, we selected attribute index 3 and nominal index as 1 and said OK and applied this. So after application, we found that um, all the instances which had value high are now made zero. So this is how you can uh, perform remove with values for any other uh, instance. If you see edit operation here, uh, all the other rows that had uh, the option of humidity as high are now removed and we only have the normal humidity attributes right so now if you want you can undo this and you get back your uh, data set with high as 7 and again you have those 14 instances So uh, let us now try to remove some other values using this remove with value filter. So this temperature, so this here I have attribute index as 2 and let us try to remove uh, the nominal index 2 which is all the mild entries. So go to remove with values, the number here is 2 so attribute index is 2 and mild has a nominal index 2 so we make it 2 here and say ok and then you just need to apply this filter uh, so that you are able to remove uh, these values so this is all about performing pre-processing operation uh, you can also perform classification clustering association and uh, uh, visualizing all these attributes. So let us quickly try to um, perform classification task here. So if you go to the classify tab, uh, in this case you are allowed to use different classifiers which are available here. So let us select a basic uh, knife base classifier in this case and let's say start. So now when you start this knife base classifier, it will start the classification and give us the uh, statistics of classification. So the correctly classified instances are 57% and incorrectly classified are 42%. It also gives us uh, uh, the attributes like precision, recall and F-score. Now this what this is what we performed using cross validation technique. You can also uh, split the data set given data set into training and testing. Now since this is only a 14 row data set, uh, this uh, classification accuracy is not very much high, but uh, uh, still we can observe that uh, whatever may be the data set, it can. Uh, directly help us to perform uh, classification. Uh, next is uh, clustering. So you can also perform a clustering operation. Uh, in this case, uh, you are allowed to select different clustering algorithms that are available like canopy, uh, hierarchical clustering, simple k-means clustering, and then you just say start and it will cluster the data set into, uh, into different groups. It also allows us to perform association rule mining wherein you can uh, find out the interesting rules between the given uh, data set. So these are the different operations, pre-processing operations and machine learning tasks like classification, clustering and association rule mining. 
that Veka allows us to perform. There are different data sets which you can load and perform these different machine learning tasks. Thank you.